Hello, my name is Ilya. I'm a software engineer at Facebook working on PyTorch. And in this presentation, I'll talk about PyTorch Profiler and two new features that we recently added. So what is PyTorch Profiler? PyTorch includes an easy to use tool that allows you to measure runtime and other performance metrics of models operators. In this simple example, we first start with necessary module inputs, then we create ResNet 18 model, and then, as you can see, we run model inference inside by Profile Context Manager. Everything inside this Context Manager is profiled. And once you have finished, you can print out the results. In this case, you will see a table with entries grouped by in operator name and with some relevant metrics such as self and total CPU time. Profiler also has more features such as group by operator input shapes, support for both CPU and GPU operators, custom labeled code ranges, and saving the trace in Chrome JSON format. For example, if you want to see the input shapes of the operators, just pass record shapes true and group by input shapes. Uh, in this case, we see multiple operators, such as convolution, with different input shapes as expected. So let's... Uh, check the tracking memory usage feature that we recently added. In addition to measuring runtime, Profiler can also be used to measure the amount of tensor memory used by the model's operators. Just pass profile memory true, and then you can sort by CPU or CUDA memory usage. In our example, we see that most of the memory was consumed by empty operator, which is not surprising because we use this operator to create new tensors. And also memory was consumed by resize operator, which is used to change uh, tensor size. Based on the C total CPU memory column, you can see that there are other operators that directly or indirectly call empty and resize. But what if you want to know not only the operator, but where in the model the operator is? Stack traces are helpful in cases like this. So you can just pass with stack true, and then you can group by top and stack entries. And in our example, we see that there are two top MKLDNN convolution operators. And in the source location, we can see not only the location inside torch and then convolution model, but also two different uh, call sites in the original ResNet model script. If you want to learn more about Profiler and see more examples, please check out our Profiler recipe on website. Thank you very much.